guys welcome back in today's kitchen episode in case you are just watching for the first time this is ever mom g's tv okay please don't hesitate to click on the red subscribe button and subscribe and to my returning subscribers i appreciate you guys so much god bless every one of you and to our new subscribers you are highly highly welcome god bless every one of you so guys today i'll be cooking uzuza soup a native one so these are the recipes to make a delicious uzuza soup so these are the recipes and here is the ghana fresh palm oil guys this palm oil is very good it has a good taste when you are using it to cook so here are my recipes for today's cooking okay so I guess these recipes are not new to you, but in case they are new to you, I will still name them one after the other for the people that are not from Nigeria or they are not good with African recipes. So this is just dried fish. As you can see, it's dried fish with stockfish. And here is prawn shrimp, dried one with crayfish, okay? Oh, opera. <laughs> So guys, this is the cow leg and the shaki. This is how I normally cook the cow leg and the shaki. I only use onions to cook it. When it's getting soft, then I'll add all the maggies, salt, and the rest. So this is just the beef meat, guys. This beef meat, I don't normally add water when parboiling the beef meat because after washing it, you find that it has some water that will, you know, left when you put it in the pot just add your ingredients and just boil it so that the beef meat will have a super taste so this frozen fish you are seeing there i just roasted it because i want to use a roasted fish or smoked fish so depending where you are you can roast it you can smoke it whatever way so this is the ghana palm oil okay this is how it looks guys this oil is good so this is the crayfish and the opera grounded together you can see the left side is the crayfish and the right side is the opera the prawn so right now i've added salt and everything to this cow legs although i didn't show it before adding this meat the beef meat so why i didn't show it i didn't want this video to be so long i want it to be short so that you will enjoy watching so when your when the cow leg or the, the shaki is soft you just have a bite then you add salt maggi and your ingredients for parboiling meat so this time as you can see i parboil the dry fish with the stock fish together so that they will be soft before adding them into the pot so the last thing the thing i'll add last not last but after adding the fish and the <laughs> all the fishes, then you add your oil and you can see it's boiling. It's time to add the ofo. I don't know what you call it. So it's a seed. You dry it. You blend it. It's for thickening soup. Some uses achi, but I don't like using achi. I like using ofo to thicken this uzuza soup so guys can you see the outcome of this soup so after this at this point you can see it it's not all that thick it's not light but it's mm, super so i just added crayfish to it are you seeing it guys so keep watching and find out how ever moms cooks her delicious native uzuza soup okay Keep enjoying, guys. Guys, I just added Maggie Cube because I just tested it and I found out that I need to add little salt and little Maggie. So always test it before adding more. So guys, I just added the smoked fish to it. And the next is to add the Uzuza lid, guys. Can you see that? So keep watching and find out how the outcome looks like, guys. Always test your soup before adding maggi or 
salt to it because when you parboil meat, you use some ingredients like salt, maggi, and the, some spices. So always test. <music> look at this soup isn't that yummy it's good to go guys at this point i'm going to enjoy it with my grease semolina guys can you take a look at this semolina this is what i'm about to enjoy it with <laughs> i guess you want to join me yes so guys please in case you are new to this channel or you have been watching and you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please click on the red subscribe button and subscribe and become part of this family okay and in case you have not joined my membership guys please click on the join button and become a member to this channel this is a way to support this channel this is the way to make this channel move forward so i appreciate every one of you that will be watching today god bless every one of you thank you for giving me your time and don't forget to watch the mukbang of this video coming soon God bless you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Love you.